Hey everybody, it's Noel from The Drawing Room, and I'm really excited to tell you today about some awesome new features that we've just made for Obsessive Layers. So if you've never used the tool before, let me walk you through those features and then we'll talk about the new stuff at the end, okay? So as always in Obsessive Layers, it's very easy to trim to keyframes. All you do is select the layers that you wanna trim by and press this one button, and they are nice and neatly trimmed to the first and last keyframe at play, okay? I'm gonna undo that, and if you only wanna to trim to the first keyframe, for example, you could press this in button and then trim to keyframes, and now they are trimmed just to the first keyframe. The same is also true for the out button, which will trim to the last keyframes, okay? So that's really useful, and I believe that's the only way to do that in After Effects, and that will save you a ton of time if you're working with a lot of layers, so definitely useful. If you'd like, you can also trim very easily to markers. So if I select these two layers with markers and press this button, now they are trimmed to the first and last marker. You can also trim just to the first or just to the last marker with the in and out buttons, okay? Moving on, you know in After Effects you need to work with matte and fill pairs if you're using track mats, okay? Now sometimes I forget to trim those so they're the same length, and that can mess you up at times, okay? So no longer. Now all you need to do is select these layers and press trim to mat, and now the fills will be trimmed to the exact same length as your mats. Awesome. If I undo that, you'll see that I can go the other way by option or alt clicking on this and trimming to mat, which now trims the mats to the fills, okay? So if you wanna go that way, that's really useful. Awesome. Trim to parent is totally useful and it works two ways, so let me explain this. If I select these three child layers here and trim to parent, they will be trimmed to the immediate parent. But if I undo that and option or alt click on this, they will be trimmed up the line to the grandparent layer. That's not really the right term, I'm pretty sure, but that's what I'm calling it here, okay? Similarly, but kind of the opposite, is trimmed to children. So if I select my parent layer on top of the chain and I press this button, it is trimmed to its immediate child. But if I undo that and Alt or Option click on this, it is trimmed down the line to all of the grandchildren and the child, okay? So that's really useful. And again, I think that's the only way to do this with one button click in After Effects, all right? So now we get to the new functions, which I'm really excited about. So we have Trim to Selected here, and that's really useful. If I select this layer first and then shift and select up the line to my other layers and I click on trim to selected, all of the layers will be trimmed or expanded to the layer that I selected first, okay? If I undo that and alt or option click on this, they will all be trimmed or expanded to the layer that I selected last, all right? So that's really useful and brand new, okay? And the final new function that we just made is trim to visibility, which a bunch of people wrote in asking us to make, and so we did, okay? And I think it's really cool, so check this out. Here I have a layer that fades up from 0% opacity keyframe up to 100, and then again down to zero. And I would like to trim it at the beginning and end there where those 0% opacity keyframes are. Well, normally you'd have to do it with the bracket keys or whatever, but in this case, I could just trim to visibility and it's automatically trimmed to the first and last 0% keyframe. Totally easy and useful, right? Similarly, it also works with scale. So if you have a layer that scales up from zero to whatever, and then down again to zero, you can easily trim the beginning and end of that just by alt clicking on trim to visibility, and now that layer is snipped off at the beginning and in the end where the zero scale keyframes were, okay? So that's really useful and awesome too. The other new function that we've just made that I'm really excited about is that Obsessive Layers now works with all of your favorite script launchers like KBar or FT Toolbar or Commander or Quick Launch or anything that you might have, okay? My favorite is KBar, so I've got that set up right here. And I should say that we've included some nifty SVG icons here so you can use them right away, okay? And these work the exact same way as these normal buttons in the tool. So for example, if I wanna trim by visibility, I can select this and do that, and now it will trim to the first and last visibility keyframe. These three buttons here work the same as these three buttons here. So this trims to beginning and end, this trims to the beginning, and this trims to the end, okay? So for example, if I wanna trim just to my last 
scale keyframe here at 0%. I would select this button and then Alt click on this and that will now trim for scale as well, okay? So that's really, really useful. And if you're already running K-Bar, you will totally love that function, all right? The last things that I wanna talk about are here in this help slash question mark menu. So let me click this and you can see here that in the display settings, we have these check boxes. And so for example, if you don't think you'll be using trim to markers, you can always uncheck this and hit okay. And now that button is gone. So it'll save you some precious screen real estate here. So you can make this smaller. Now, if you wanna make this even smaller than that and press this again and go to advanced settings, you can use these icon buttons that we have built in. So if I press this, you will now see that there are some handy dandy little icons here. And now you can expand this or contract this, I guess I should say even smaller and save even more real estate for your other favorite scripts, okay? So that's it. Those are the new functions of obsessive layers and I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you very much.